Hi everyone, good afternoon. I hope you're all doing well today. I wanted to post and give some more information once again about these premise alert forms for first responders. Um, what these forms do is give us as parents and educators the opportunity to make our police departments aware of the children in our community that have autism or other forms of disabilities. Uh, gives them the opportunity to put our children and adults in their systems and make them aware of their presence should a, an emergency situation take place. Um, and that could be escalated behaviors, or for example, or that could also be our children becoming lost. Um, this gives them all of their information. You can include photos, but also descriptions of your child. Um, it gives them lists of information, their forms of communication, should they have any. Um, it could give them examples of how they can calm them down in an escalated situation or places that they may roam to or go to should they become lost or frightened for some reason. Okay, So it gives them that awareness and that heads up that your child is in this community should they receive a phone call from a school or from a neighbor and um, you know they would just have your child's name come up in their system and photo and make them aware before they approach the situation that your child does have autism okay that can escalate the situation immediately okay um, as you know I have my son wear a medic necklace so that a police officer would be able to see that he has autism immediately when they see him because he would never respond to a police officer if he told him to freeze or stop or ask him what his name is he wouldn't respond my son's 20 years old he's larger than me um, his behavior could be misconstrued by anyone in a moment's notice um, a police officer may not know in a moment and need to de-escalate a situation okay I am trying to have them trained further I am pushing them I am advocating in Harrisburg to try and have them obtain further trainings and have them mandated but the first thing that we need to do is make them aware that this is needed in our community so we need to work as a community of parents and educators together with the police stations and let them know that we need this sort of help okay we need to protect our kids we have to make sure that if an emergency situation takes place that they do not escalate and that no one gets hurt this protects us our children and the police officers as well okay so what they have agreed to do is to distribute these forms through the state and make them available at police stations for parents to come and pick up and fill out but you can get them on your own and begin bringing them in now let's not wait for them to start distributing them but it's a first step you know they do receive trainings but I feel as though they they do need further training they need more specified training for autism so that they have that opportunity to ask professionals questions and different ways to de-escalate situations should our children or adults become agitated because the aggression and assertiveness makes the situation worse and there is more chance there for someone to be harmed okay so in order to keep our kids safe this can be a first step and it doesn't take much time to fill this form out and bring it to the police station and the more that they see that there are so many families in the area with children and adults who have special needs who have autism they may increase their trainings because they'll see that it's necessary They'll see the amount of us that are in the community, and they'll see that we are working together to keep everyone safe. So please, I'll be posting this, okay, and they will be distributed through the state. I'm pushing for it. I'm pushing them to provide further trainings and have them mandated. This is a good start, okay? So let's get these filled out. Please work with me and bring them into the police station, make them aware of our children, okay? Thank you and bless you. Let's keep our kids safe together. Thank you.